Hey, what's going on, nation? Today I'm gonna help you out by giving you a home chest workout that's still going to allow you to build muscle without having to have dumbbells and barbells and all the things you normally would find at a gym. And I know it can be very frustrating for those of you guys working out at home or if you don't have time to hit the gym but you still wanna get a great workout and you're really limited to doing just push-ups. It only gets you so far, you can only create so much resistance doing push-ups on the floor. So what I'm going to do with you guys today is show you a band workout that's gonna target the entire chest. So we're gonna hit the upper chest, the lower chest, everything, break it down for maximum muscle damage and maximum regrowth all by just using a band. If you don't have any bands, I'll put a link down in the info section below. This is from gronkfitnessproducts.com and it's the light purple band and I even have a code for 15% off, comes out to like 20 bucks, so it's super cheap. Now the way this workout is going to work is we're gonna be doing five exercises four sets per exercise, which means we're doing a total of 20 working sets for the entire workout. It should only take you about 25 minutes max to do, but because we're using a resistance band, we have to work with a few other things to make this workout effective. And what those things are going to be three things actually. We're gonna be doing controlled negatives, we're gonna be doing isolation holds, and then we're also going to be utilizing our own body for leverage to get more out of each exercise. And we'll go over that when we go over the exercises. Now the only other thing you need is a sturdy surface to do these movements on. I'm gonna be using the side of my power rack right here. I mean, you guys can literally go outside and use a tree, you can use a flagpole, you can go to a monkey bar gym and connect your band there. It doesn't matter as long as it's sturdy. And now some of you guys are now gonna ask if you can use your own body for some of these exercises. So for example, the first exercise is gonna be a chest press. And I know you're gonna know, wanna know if you can just kinda line it up on your back and push forward. And the answer is yes, but what you're gonna quickly find out if you use just your body is that it's gonna cut your range of motion in half and you're not gonna be able to get that deep stretch at the bottom, which is obviously something we clearly want to make sure we're breaking down as much muscle fiber as possible. So you can use your body. I recommend finding a pole. So we're gonna get real friendly with this pole right now, <laughs> as you guys will see. Because what you're going to do on every exercise, like I said, we're gonna focus on controlled negatives, we're gonna focus on isolation holds, and we're also gonna focus on using our own body as leverage. So that means what you're gonna to have to actually do is take your butt and place it right on this post, okay? You're gonna to get to know that post really well because we're going to utilize our, our butt and our hips to kind of push ourselves forward and come back and use the pole for support as we're moving our arms to get a bit more of a stretch and more of, a, of an isolation of the chest throughout these movements. So let me show you what I mean. So the first exercise, we're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps, well for all the exercises, and we're gonna be doing just a standard chest press. So you wanna line this up so you're in the chest press position, and then what you're going to do is push your body forward so we're creating tension at the bottom of the movement before we even start. If you were to start like this, there's not much tension in your chest right now. So push your body forward just like this, arch it back. And then from here, you're gonna press out and in, hold for a second, and do a two to three second negative on the way back. Come all the way back, press again, hold for a second, two to three second negative on the way back. And by doing the isolation holds and the two to three second negatives, we're able to keep a really hard contraction in the chest throughout the entire set. So that's exercise one. Exercise two is just gonna be an inclined chest press. So bring the band down so you can angle your arms up like this. And same thing guys, use your lower body for support, lean forward, get that stretch in your chest, press all the way up, hold for a second, two to three second negative, on the way down, press up, hold for a second, two or three second negative, on the way down. And you're gonna continue doing that motion for four sets, 10 reps per set. As Soon as you finish that exercise, guys, we go into the next one, which is gonna be a chest fly. Now this is where it gets a little different, okay? For the chest fly, because you only have so much um, resistance band to use, you're gonna to have to actually lean forward and lean back throughout the movement to get the full range of motion. So get into position like this, arms out, slight bend in the elbow. You're gonna lean forward here, get that nice stretch in your chest, and then 
you're going to go as much as you can. And if it gets to the point where the band won't stretch anymore because it's at its max, then that's where you're going to lean back a little so you can bring those arms in as close as possible. Get that isolation hold. And then start to lean forward to create more tension on the band and in your chest as you do that two to three second negative. So now I'm leaning all the way forward. Now don't start to move back until it gets too tight. Hold for a second and lean forward again, okay? As soon as you finish middle, we're gonna do upper. So low to high, hit that upper chest a bit more, all right? So low to high, chest fly, same thing. Lean forward, create that tension, and then bring your arms up. As you come up, as you can see, I'm all the way back against the post because that's just how tight it is using the resistance band. Let's do one more repetition. Start off leaning forward. I'm getting tired just from doing this, guys. Get a slight bend in your arms. Come up. As you come up, lean back. Hold for a second. Two to three second isolation hold on the way down. So as you can see, this ain't no walk in the park, okay? It gets to be really intense. In the last exercise, we're gonna simulate a, a plate press. And a plate press, guys, is when you hold a plate between your hands like this and you push out. And we can utilize the same movement using the resistance band by bringing it in like this. And like I said, we can lean forward, just get more tension in the band, and then push out. Squeeze that chest as hard as you can. All the way back. Push out. Come back in, two to three second hold. I'm two to three second negative. And then push back out. Just like this, guys. So, like I said, five exercises, four sets per exercise, 10 reps per set. And you guys are gonna take about a 30 to 60 second rest period in between your sets and exercises. And within 25 minutes, you're gonna have a killer chest workout. I mean, look at me. I'm already getting pretty pumped in my, in my not even just my chest, my shoulders and my triceps from doing this. So if you're working out at home, guys, you're not stuck with making zero gains anymore. There are things that you can do in order to continue making progress and resistance bands are definitely great for that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.